Hey everybody, Andrew Bowman with Bowman's Pro Turf, and I have a few minutes here this afternoon between uh, some office work and I wanted to make a short video. It has to be very short because I only have about four minutes of recording time left on this uh, SD card. So here we go. I want to talk about wild violets. It's one of the trickiest broadleaf weed that we deal with here. Uh, I think probably across the lawn care industry, wild violets are are one of the more trickier weeds. And why is that? Short little history, back in 2008, a chemical company put out a product called Imprelis, and that product was labeled for killing wild violets. But what everybody in the lawn care industry soon found out is that if you applied that product and there was a pine tree uh, that had a root system directly under where you applied it, it would kill the pine tree. Fast forward several years, chemical companies have been pretty nervous about putting out a product specifically for wild violets, and understandably so after that issue back in 2008. So what we have found, we as in uh, chemists, folks in the lawn care industry, that uh, wild violets are a very herbaceous and woody weed, so therefore you need a special product to kill that weed. We know that there are three products that we like to use to help uh, eradicate wild violets. One of them is called Triclopure, one of them is called Four Speed, and one of them is called Sure Power. Okay, so how do those products work? Well, Triclopure is a very temperature sensitive product and you cannot apply it as uh, temperatures get too warm. So really like the label is, is not the clearest on it, but I don't like to apply that product when it gets above 75 degrees because Triclopure will do what's called volatilize. It will turn into a vapor and that vapor can drift and kill unintended plants, rose bushes, things like that. So we can only add Triclopure to our tank in the early spring and the fall time. Four Speed is a product in which the Triclopure is already added to the mixture. It's a little bit more stable, but it still has that same temperature restriction quality. Triclopure, how we like to use it is I will add it to a three-way herbicide. We call that spiking. And so it's spiked in the herbicide itself in the mixture tank. Then there's that four speed where the triclopyr is already mixed in with the three-way herbicide. The final product is called Sure Power. Sure Power was put on the market a few years ago. We used it a few times. We like it, but it does have a tendency to turn the turf grass bronze because of the photosynthesis inhibitor that is in the product. Now, all three of these products, they do work well, uh, but you have to use them according to the label. So I'm not gonna give you any advice on how to mix or anything. You need to follow the label, you need to read the label, you need to consult with your local professional, uh, your supplier, whoever that may be, before you put this product down on your lawn, but always refer to the label. I just wanted to let everybody know that those are the three things that we do in our program to help eradicate wild violets. Number one, we add triclopure to a three-way herbicide by spiking it. Number two, sometimes we use that four-speed product. And number three, we will spot spray with Sure Power as needed on different lawns. So wild violet control, we're making progress in that area. Like I said, it's been slow going over the last couple of years. It's one of the most tricky weeds that we have to deal with, but I think we're finally making some ground uh, on getting that cleared up on our customers' lawns. Hope this information uh, is good for you. Take care. Thanks.